Welcome to part two of the Scratch tutorial series on how to make a zombie game. In this one, we're actually going to be programming the enemies. We're going to be programming the zombies. So first, also like the bullets, the original sprite is never going to show. It's always going to be hidden. And for the cloning cycle, it's going to create it's going to create a wave of clones, a wave of zombies, and then it's going to wait. And then it's going to create another wave, and then it's going to wait. And it's going to create a random amount of clones or zombies each time. So first for a wave, it's going to create 10 to I think I'd say 20 zombies. And each zombie is going to be cloned a random amount between 2.0, 2.0, remember that, um, not 20, because 2.0, it allows it not just to be between 2 and 3, but 2.0, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4, 2.5, .2 and all the way up to like 3.9. So it's going to be rate random, pick random between 2.0 and 3.0. And also going to create a clone of themselves. And so that's going to be one wave. But we also need to wait a certain amount of time. I'd say like 10 to 16 seconds. So between 10 to 16 seconds between each wave. Now, it's not going to do anything because it's, there's no, they're not doing anything. So... In the cloning script, under when I start as clone, show, first of all, and then to it's going to spawn either on the top, this, this side, this side, or this side, and it's going to spawn at a random Y position or a random X position. So first do an if-else block. And if the fir this first condition is going to happen half of the time. So it's going to be if random, pick one to two, is one. Then this is for the one that goes from top, from the top or from the bottom. The X position is going to be a random one between negative 240 and 240. So negative 240 and 240. And the Y position is either going to be at the top, 200, or at the bottom, negative 200. And that's also going to be random. So just duplicate this one. So either at the top, set Y to 200, or at the bottom, set Y to negative 200. Now duplicate this entire block. Duplicate the entire thing. And change out the set X for a set y. So instead of a set x, do a set y. And instead of negative 240 to 240, do negative 180 to 180. And over here, instead of a set y, do a set x. So a set x to 260 or set x to negative 260. And that's going to make it spawn at a random side on any side randomly. Then, the zombies are always going to be following the player. And right now, it's just going to do it forever. So do repeat until nothing. Repeat until nothing. So we're going to point towards player. And move, let's say, 10 steps. And after something has happened, delete the clone. And the clone is going to have health. And so every time it gets hit, this is the original one, it gets hit once, it gets hit twice, it gets hit three times, and it gets hit four times. And this is the final one. And it's going to have 
five different health states. So create a new variable for the zombie called health. It has to be for this sprite only. And set health at the beginning to five. And if the health is less than one, the zombie is gonna die, so it's just gonna delete itself. And depending and depending on what the health is, we need to move either fast or slow. Because if the zombie has low health, then it's gonna move slowly. So my formula for it is the health divided by three plus one. So health divided by three plus one steps. And the health is also going to be dependent on the costume. So if you have really bad health and your health is one, then it's going to be zombie number one. And so switch costume to zombie health. And make sure this is really important, always for this spread only. And if it gets hit by a bullet, so if it touches the bullet, and it won't touch the bullet for more than one frame because after touching it, it's gonna the bullet is gonna immediately disappear. So it won't have to stay on the bullet, and it won't accidentally do, and it won't accidentally decrease the health really fast. So it's just gonna be if touching bullet, change health by negative one because we're dying, and. Start the sound, fleshy impact. This, this sound effect is from free sound. And it's just like a fleshy impact sound. So that's the code for the zombie. And there's a few more things to do to level it up, to level up this code more. So for the player, we can create a health system also for the player. So in the player sprite, create a new variable called health. And this is gonna be for all sprites and it's gonna be kind of like a UI thing. And in the beginning, health is gonna be zero, health is gonna be 100. But slowly over time, if it gets hit, it's gonna go down. So another it, one green flag clicked forever. And if touching zombies change health by a random number between negative seven and negative five, I think that's good for this game, between negative seven and negative five. And play the sound hurt. So play the sound, hurt. Now, if you test it, and uh, you get hit, uh, uh, you get hurt. Uh, but there is a small problem. The gun isn't part of your body. And uh, even, uh, 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 if you accidentally just touch the gun to the zombies, you die. And we don't want that. So to solve that, we can switch to a hitbox costume right before, and then we die. So switch to a hitbox costume, and then at the end, switch back to the player costume. But we also need health for the player. So to add health, we're going to use this health. And it's going to be the ceiling. So the ceiling of the health divided by 20. So the ceiling of the health divided by 20. And also duplicate that 
because if if you were to test it right now, whenever a zombie would come and you got hurt, it would be it would switch back to the hitbox. So duplicate this and switch to the before that. And now that bug is fixed. So now for the score. To add a list of zombies killed, create a new variable called z zombies killed for all sprites. So zombies killed for all sprites. And I'm gonna move this to the bottom. And in the beginning, zombies killed is gonna be set to zero. But whenever a zombie dies, it's going to be changed by one. And now that is the code for keeping like a score so that you have like a good score. Now we're almost done. We just need to add player death to add player death create another if forever block and in it say if health is less then is less than zero so if the health is negative then we're dead and play sound death and there's just the sound of a man groaning. So play sound death. And before we play sound death, stop all other scripts in Sprite. And also, um, at the very end, stop all. And the final last thing is because it might still be in hitbox, Mode, it still might be switched to the costume of a hitbox. Switch to the costume um, player one. And so this is the finished game. Now, that's all there is to it. And I hope this was a good tutorial. Goodbye, and subscribe to, for more good tutorials.